Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part four of the soccer World Cup soccer jersey review. We talk about group D uh, where I actually realized uh, I like pretty much every team in here. Um, so I had a little bit hard uh, time choosing. In the end I went for Australia over France um, for the simple reason that I don't think I will be wearing many Australia shirts during this World Cup. And also, you know, there was a time when I really, really, really was in love with the country of Australia. Uh, <laughs> I still am to a degree, although it's not a place at this point in time where I, I, I would say I really would like to live in, which uh, 20, 20, 20 year, years ago, this would have been my option, my choice. I want to live in Australia. So, yeah, there you go. But, you know, personal stuff aside, um, in this video, we're going to look at the four teams in Group D, which are, of course, defending world champions, France, Australia, um, Denmark and Tunisia. And we look at them in this order. And I will give every jersey a grade from 1 to 10, with 1 being the worst and 10 being the best. And as I said, we'll start with the world champions, France. And... I gotta be honest with you, when I first saw the leaks, what the France home jersey will look like, I didn't like the cut, I didn't like how plain it is gonna be, uh, especially since I really like the one uh, issued for Euro 2020, which kind of combined many things, uh, so I was not in high hopes for that one. And then it got released and I said, oh, this is boring. Then I saw it in match, the navy blue, the white pants and the red socks. And the more I looked at it, the more I have to say, this is the classiest shirt of the entire World Cup. It looks really good, especially the slight accents there with this uh, oak, uh, oak tree pattern on the collar. The collar, it just looks, everything here looks pure class. I cannot overstate this. Everything in this shirt is pure class. And uh, even the golden rooster. And I know there's a difference between the rooster that is used um, in uh, on the replica and on the real jersey. And I have to say, I really like the way that they do it for the replica, uh, where it's a little bit more uh, patterned. And, and so I thought the, uh, the authentic version is also, also not bad. This is 100% pure class. This is a 10 star jersey for me. Yes, it is. Now the away jersey, unfortunately, is a little bit of a, it goes the other way around. When I first saw the first leaks, I thought, oh, this is interesting. You take a white away jersey and you know, uh, you put this um, postcard pattern style of the 1900s on there. And you know, there's an Arc de Triomphe, which is immediately recognizable. Uh, the, the bad thing is the other things are not re recognizable. I think this is all uh, Places like Fontainebleau and so on uh, that have very significant uh, that are very significant to the French national football team. All good and well, if Red Star Paris wouldn't have done that two years ago. Uh, that's the one thing where you get me a little bit. Where I find this was not quite. Uh, it, it, it's not original and and anymore. I also feel that the jersey could use a little bit more definition on the collar and on the sleeves. You know, put some cuffs on there. It's not a bad jersey. It's still one that I wouldn't mind having. I know Idris from Amudi Mayo absolutely hates this jer jersey. No, I don't hate this jersey uh, personally. I find it not so bad and I find it interesting there. Uh, it, it, it holds some interest to me. It also doesn't look bad, bad in play, but I really think it needs a tad more definition. That's all I'm gonna, um, I'm, I'm gonna say. And so therefore it's only a seven star. Um, fortunately cannot give it more than that. Going over to Australia. Nike doing Nike, just being boring, just being boring with Australia. See, for France, there is not too much difference in principle between uh, this jersey and the France jersey. However, where there is a dedicated pattern here, this just looks yeah, like a beach or whatever. Uh, it doesn't do anything for me. In uniform, it's worn brilliantly with green pants and white socks, so that elevates it. But other than that, nah, uh, it's just it's not as bad as the Poland shirt, which we actually think they, uh, or the Saudi Arabia one, 
but it really doesn't end here. It's just a useful jersey, nothing uh, more than that. And so I'm um, gonna give this a six star. And the away jersey again is uh, the colors. Okay, colors great. This is supposedly uh, by the barrier reef, blah, 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 blah. Yes, it has definitely some marine colors. And I wouldn't mind having a Navy Australia shirt. I remember the one in 2006. I was so close of getting that one instead of this one. I said, no, but this, this is more Australia. And I think the one they got in 2016 is one of the jerseys I really would love to have. But you know what I do hate with this one? The boomerang shape. And for Australia, it actually would fit that as a boomerang shape now that I think about it, but it just looks awful. And yes, use the light blue is something different, but you know, there needs to be some yellow in there, honestly. So. Not the greatest overall, but so again, the colors are nice. I give it three stars, but you won't get more from me. But we have a bunch of really nice jerseys. Unfortunately, Denmark also don't go in there. Denmark um, used the inspiration from this jersey used in Euro 2020 to make again uh, all blank kits, all red, all white, all black kits, now based on the 92 winning jersey. We have seen it before. And then the messaging, uh, yeah, we don't want the one we've seen came out a little bit too late. If this is released with that messaging, great. I found this rather disappointing. Uh, overall, doesn't do much for me. And then they put a big Denmark flag uh, on there, which also goes complete counter it. I give all of them the red one, the white one, and the black one. A five star. They're all five stars to me. Uh, it's not much more uh, than that. I actually have to say the white and the black actually do something. Uh, nice idea, potentially good messaging, but overall, yeah, rather average, lame, disappointing whatsoever. And now we're going to my favorite set of kits of the entire World Cup, which is the Tunisia. Uh, home away and third jersey they all use the same design like Denmark however they went with the um, uh, cuirass of Hannibal like an old antique armor that you can find in the Barney Museum in Tunis it is glorious this pattern yes it is just a cup of shirt with that pattern but it looks absolutely glorious I have to have to say this is the best thing ever the crest again, yeah, the eagle with these wings looks funny. But other than that, uh, I love this shirt. And if you've seen my Jersey World Cup, Tunisia waited very, 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 very far. Now the one thing that I'm not that I'm not sure is I have here now the red as the home jersey. The white will be the one that's used throughout the group stage, and Tunisia have been playing mostly in white. Then this is Reese's home home jersey. Now they're playing all white. White again. I don't know whether this is not the away jersey. So uh, I'm a little bit confused there. Ah, yes, great. I want to point out that the white and the red are probably the best looking, uh, are, are probably the more standard looking ones. And maybe, and maybe just uh, maybe I, sh I should give both of them a nine. However, the third jersey in olive green and gold that's the standard item which for me is a 10 star this is an absolute pure class jersey so there you go lots of talking maybe a lot of them uh, moving around but um what are you gonna do in any case where do you agree with me where do you disagree give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel we will see more videos like this and i will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!